<laughs> he, Kendrick said, I believe when you at Sexy Red, you see two bad bitches. You said that there are, are that Drake is a bad bitch. Bro. Apparently, he got a BBL. He might as well be one. Wait, wait. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Because I, I remember he was slumped. So you slept with him yeah, yeah, on the podcast? Yeah. No, I slept, no he, was, he was setting it up, but it was taking a while. So so he yeah, fell asleep. This nigga fell asleep. He kept waking up. And I was like, I was yo, bro, it's a blanket behind you. He like, nah, bro, I'm good. Took another nap. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, you know. Then he wake up again. I'm like, he's like, Ugh. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you, you got a blanket behind you. He Dude, took the blanket. Started. That's man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got the slime over there. Beautiful. This is episode nine, nine, yeah, nine of the Unbound podcast. Unbound. As you can <laughs> see, I got a full house. Everybody going around the room, introduce yourself. You first, bro. Uh, I'm Xavier. Uh, what do I say? What you, you are, like what you Shit. I what I do, what I do. What Shit. you want to tell the people? Fuck, man. Hey, I'm just a cool ass nigga, bro. And I'm, <laughs> I'm here to talk about comic books. I feel like that shit is going to be raw. I'm excited. <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm tail. I was told I I was promised nerd shit. I pull up for the nerd shit. I'm always here for the nerd shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a D1 nerd. For sure. I'm really about that. What's going on? I'm Kai. I'm a podcast regular. You feel Word. what I'm saying? The third one, bro. Y'all know who I am. Um, hi. My name is Brooklyn, and um, I'm friends with these nerds, so I <laughs> came along for the ride. For sure. For sure. Um. Man, we gonna talk about first. We gonna get into this J Cole Kendrick bullshit. Oh yeah. Oh, what y'all What y'all feeling about that? Wait, make sure you say Drake. Well, you just said J Cole and Kendrick. Yo, chill, chill, chill. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Drake. Oh, I said J Cole. My fault. Drake and Kendrick J. Cole, shit. J Cole backed out. How y'all feel Look, about that? I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of tight at first, mm -hmm. but then I think I realized these niggas really don't fuck with each other, and I feel like J Cole not about that. I, I respected it. You, you know saying he mean? pussy? I'm not saying he pussy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not too much. Because out, out of the three of them, I feel like J. Cole my favorite. I feel like I listen to more J. Cole than I do all the all three of them other niggas, all, the other two. Mm -hmm. But like, bro, nah, those niggas really don't like. The second I heard that, I hate the way that you walked away. I was like, yeah, nah. I, I feel like right. I would have tapped out too. That's not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the, he not angry. I feel like they angry. Right. I was. Oh my fault. I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. You was gonna say something? I think I'm, I'm on the same type of time, and I think he's you pussy. pussy? Bro. I think if he was hold on, he would have stood on his toes. <laughs> I right, so I was talking to my I was talking to my uncle, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Yo, like what he thinks is that J Cole got uh like like a whiff of like yo like niggas is not having fun, niggas is actually trying to cut throat kill niggas, right. and so he bowed out. Which I don't think that's pussy. I feel like that's just J Cole brand. Being High a nice key, guy. it's just being a cool I'm not, nigga. Nah, his brand I'm is wilding? like being the nicest rapper. Though. Yeah, he's, 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 he's peaceful. I think it's just peaceful. I, I agree, but I don't think that's. I, feel, I, feel I don't think that's. Way. I don't think that's pussy. I feel the same way I said in the beginning, the like this shit is don't J. Cole have. Cole pussy. They shot off in a box, so why is niggas? Because the fucking last time J Cole and Kendrick got into some shit, this nigga box did he? Okay, but that's not because it can. That's not. That wasn't because it can. Why? Why they? Why they? I don't know. I don't know if. He's necessarily the nicest rapper if he's just never been up in beef. Like Who, no one J. ever Cole? put him in shit for J. Real. Cole? Yeah. Like would I say he's I mean Nas well Nas dissed him, but J. Cole didn't really diss him back. He really he got a song called Cole, Let, Cole, I Yeah, like I feel like I, I can't like in terms of like not like going back like anything worth his time. Like I feel like he hasn't had anything like like this worth his time. And he was like, Never mind. Like I don't think I wanna I wanna do this anymore. I'm not gonna lie, I first I was like, J. Cole, you Weak, my nigga. Like, come on. Man. <laughs> no, like I can't lie. At first, I think I had the same idea, and then, nah, I, I, and then I nah. heard what was the comeback, and I was like, there was nothing you could have said for this. Yeah, like, I was I'm, like, nah. I'm kind of glad you backed out. Like, uh, nah, 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 nah. Never I said glad? no, my nigga. You gotta pull the G string down. You gotta put on your big boy pants, nigga. Come on, bro. Like, look, the album was whack, bro. That uh, seven minute drill. The album was whack. I think seven minute drill. I think the album was good. I feel like I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I haven't, I haven't like re listened to it. I feel like I gotta give it a second listen. No, My don't. thing was, J Cole is like, <laughs> well, but he's nice, and it's not like he can't. He, it's not like he can't go tit for tat with Kendrick. I, I was said the same. I was, I but I was like, think? but I think not. I mean, yeah, he can. I think he can. He's a great you guy. think J Cole can't go tit for tat with Kendrick? 
saw what I said. I just wanted to know what you thought. What do you think? I mean... <laughs> I feel like I'd have to yeah, hear. Like sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to hear maybe more Kendrick in that mindset. Like you, I just feel like I feel like it's a hard thing to compare, just because how they're kind of like just two different types styles of like rappers. Like when I feel like I think of both of them, yeah, they in the same. T- they are in the same tier. Really? Yeah. I don't think same tier. Like I think they both do their respective sides different, but like I feel like. Like what they rap. I feel about. like Kendrick is like poetry. Like he raps like a poet, and J. I Cole feel like J Cole more so raps like a storyteller. Right. And I think that's a really different type of vibes to try and compare. I think I think I think those fall on the same like poet and storyteller. I feel like you telling the story. Yeah. Poetry. Okay. My thing with J Cole, right? Because what I was talking about when I was kind of describing like the big three in quotes, right? Mm-hmm. Is I feel like they all started off like in like a conscious rapper kind of headspace, like pop. Like they was doing shit to get popping, right? And so they were all making this similar kind of type of music where they were mixing like conscious style with like what was popping at the time. And then once they blew up, everyone went their different ways, right? Drake went mainstream. Kendrick went like full experimental. Fucking Cole kind of just started building up the conscious sound. Like Cole's a lot more, you hear a lot more boom bap from Cole yeah, than you right. hear from like Kendrick and Drake. You hear a lot of like crazy, like every kind of like beat you hear from Kendrick is never some shit other niggas are doing. Word. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's who's his, this nigga producers? My question. Uh, Hit Boy. Hit Boy. He Hit nice. Boy. Oh, he Hit do Nas tough. albums. Hit Boy. Yeah, Hit Boy. Yeah. Hit Boy's tough. Um, and I know Cole got like T minus and himself. Cole also produces his own music. Like niggas don't talk yeah. about that, which is really impressive. Like he made for it. Like uh, what was it? No role models. I'm pretty sure he made that beat. I forgot. I know he made Wet Dreams. But, oh, he did. Like, okay. Yeah, but like. That's what I'm saying. Like, Cole kind of, like, he found a sound and he kind of just infused conscious rap and, like, boom bap into, like, mainstream. Drake was just doing... Drake's like Jay-Z. Like, he's like our Jay-Z. Jay-Z... I, ooh. The reason Jay-Z... This was might so, take you up for that, but the I, reason, I agree. I, look, but I, here's my point, though. Like, the reason Jay-Z is as regarded as we view Jay-Z, right? Because I was talking to my dad about Jay-Z. My dad hates Jay-Z. Why? Because he feels like Jay-Z just kind of kept doing what everyone, like, what was popping. He always just got who was popping. Like, Jay-Z got Kanye because he realized Kanye was popping, right? Like. Or Drake do a feature with damn everybody. Drake will do it. Drake, Drake, do it. Drake, he, yeah, Drake he fucking sexy. I mean, he ain't fucking. I say he fuck. He, <laughs> he fucking. Wild, come on. He fucking with sexy red. Rich, like, come on. And if you think they, <laughs> let's be let's be dead out. <laughs> Both them bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what you, what you meant by that, bro? Because you say Drake a bad. No, I heard. I know what Kendrick said. <laughs> He's, Kendrick said, "I believe when you with sexy red, you see two bad bitches. You." See Said that there are are that Drake is a bad bitch. Bro, apparently he got a BBL. He might as well be one. Wait, wait. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. Where's his Where's his Drake? Pause, pause. <laughs> Where is this Drake in the BBL pause, from? Pause. I don't know where that came from, but I've been hearing it a lot recently. <laughs> you know what? I'm not editing that. That's, that's going to be the first clip. Really? Really? That's going to be the first clip. Ah, man. That's really rough. They, Kendrick said he faking his abs. Yeah, now, nah, my, nigga, my nigga be saying that nigga got life over shit. But what I think, bro... <laughs> oh, shit. What I think, bro, is like... Like that's that, that like this is like that is funny, but when this nigga was talking about, I hate the way that you talk, hate that you walk, I hate the way that you dress, nigga. You can't say nigga no more. I'm like, hold on, cause I'm not gonna lie, I was fucking with push ups. I think push ups is a better song. I think Euphoria is a better diss, and since we talking about whose diss is better, I feel like I feel like Kendrick won. You I feel, feel like me? Drake's diss tracks, even some even the shit like we did with Pusha T back to back. What's the other shit he did? No, back to back was Meek Mill. Push a T. Not, yeah, not back. Well, back to back too. Shit. Did he drop for Push a T? Yeah, he did. I don't know. He, he did. Then he went on the interview and started crying about, you know, he took it too far and shit. But I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Aaron that nigga's child that was kinda crazy. I would say Is it? But 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 then but then <laughs> but, but then, then it's we like, go, I feel like the uh, what's the line of a joke then? That's what I'm saying. Where's, Who where's, creates where's, the line of a joke? Because I was watching these YouTubers, you know Love Live Serve? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan O'Ryan Ryan was like, about, yeah. was like, what's the line Shout of a joke? Who creates the line of a joke? It's either you sensitive to so everyone has a line, yeah. right? Everyone has an extent that they want to go to, but like, who like creates that line? If that I makes feel sense. like Drake crossed that line because he had some line and shit where he's talking about um Kendrick wife. He's some line name, some shit, some some yeah, Whitney Kendrick wife name. Too much. I think it is too far. Adion though, like no. my take on the story of Adion was that like. 
like oh, you can give it a mic. Oh, okay. Drake's relationship with his kid is kind of like that's his business, and I feel like you put that kid in a spotlight that I feel like that kid ain't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause raising a famous, like, I know Michael Jackson like hit the shit out of his kids because he didn't want them to grow up famous. Cause that's like that fucks kids up. Like being famous so early. Fox kids up. I feel yeah, like, cause at that point Drake ain't had no choice I feel like, but to put look, his kid into I'm always for rap beef. I'm always gonna be like, yeah, Pusha T one, Pusha T cooked them right. Like, but I think like if you really broke it down, I think putting that nigga's kid on blast for the whole world. But that, that definitely like he changed that kid's life without like that kid having any say. Drake in it. didn't have to show Adonis. I feel like he I didn't. agree. I was gonna say I feel like there's two sides to this coin because mm-hmm. I feel like in the perspective of Drake, yes. You put your son out there, so if someone hits your son up, that's kind of on you in the terms of you decide to put him in the limelight. If your life is in the limelight, we have a, I guess, ability to judge it or observe it to that extent. And I feel like there's another coin to say, yes, this is still a living person that didn't consent necessarily to have himself be broadcasted like that. Like, I feel like there's a Drake side, there's an Adonis side, but both sides are valid because at the end of the day, people were going to do that. You know what? I'm not even going to lie. This whole thing kind of reminds me of how the shit went down with Jay-Z and Nas, though. Because that shit has potential to turn into street shit. Because, you know, Jay-Z was like, you know, I fucked your baby moms, left condoms in your baby seat in your car. Like, that's a dangerous game you're playing. But with Jay-Z and, I mean, not Jay-Z, not, um, Colin, um, Kendrick, I mean, even in that, I mean, they was homeboys. So it's like, yeah. the I feel like they wouldn't have crossed each other on that extent. But I feel like Kendrick got a real beef with Drake. Because they've been dissing each other <laughs> yeah, subliminally right. for... Since poetic justice, my nigga, like they've been beefing for a while. It's just that now niggas oh, yeah. is trying to find niggas is finding out about my it. My thing is like, cause this other niggas are not fucking with Drake, and I feel like he, they all switch sides on him too. Yeah, I mean, I can't even say switch sides because I feel like I think we all know how Drake is publicly. I think the reason niggas is fucking with Kendrick's disc is what he said. It's what the culture is feeling. It's what we think about Kendrick and like Drake. We think these things about Drake. We feel these things about Drake because Drake is so public. And it's so obnoxious about how he is. And I feel like that's what why you mean, it's, obnoxious. Like, Drake is everywhere. We know what Drake up to. We right. know what Drake's doing. You see his Instagram story. We see Drake everywhere. Like Drake has a presence and he maintains a presence constantly. And so I feel like we talking about Drake in a sense of like niggas not fucking with him. Niggas switching up on him. I think Drake's been doing a lot of weird like ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. We knew he handled that weird. What you mean? Like, he started inviting them out to places, and it's like, but why? Inviting ASAP Rocky? ASAP Rocky and Rihanna, like, but like, why? I did not know that. You didn't know yeah, that? Yeah, I didn't know that either. I don't watch Drake. I'm going to keep it a stack. Yeah. I don't, I don't give a fuck about those niggas. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It's not I don't keep up with Drake. Drake. Yeah. I don't keep up with Drake either, but it's like... like presence, I just choose yeah. not to like No, him. yeah. But it's like, I was going to say, I feel like he is a presence. I just choose not to really subscribe to Drake, but like, I get what you're saying, and I think there's kind of something funny about it that i think kendrick honed in especially with this, this of like you decide to put yourself out there publicly and then this is what we're talking about and then you hear that back and it's like no and like i get to say this and everyone's gonna agree with me because we've all been talking about this like in front of you behind your back and like now i'm dissing you with it. and i think that's really interesting because he tries to put himself out there a lot with people or just in the public eye in general to be observed to be seen to be flexed on for whatever and then like for someone i feel like to come back and be like yeah nigga we don't fuck with you we ain't never fuck with shit that you put out and they're like damn like but i feel like that was crazy to add on like the nigga um kendrick been saying like j cole is like i mean not j cole drake is like his music is like it has no substance, substance to it yeah it, like compared to somebody like drake like drake make that bubble gum <laughs> Pop music, what? but I think that's why you know you was comparing Jay Z to Drake, where I would feel like they fall in the same categories because they do they able to like switch their styles. Like Kendrick is more of a poet, you said a poet or storyteller or whatever. Like Jay Z, Jay Z ain't really. I mean, he got records where he, you know, yeah. story uh, OJ and shit like that, but not on like not even on like a Kendrick. No. But I feel like with Drake, like in terms of like his music not having substance, honestly, I feel like Drake. Does you feel a, like that matters? I feel like Drake does a good job of maintaining or of keeping up with what's going on yeah, in the music right. industry. Yeah. And I feel like he, out of the three niggas we talking about, he drops the most. He right. drops right. undeniably right. the most. So it's only natural that he is going to evolve his style. And not saying, and I feel like niggas is confusing that with like, Drake don't rap no more. Nigga, on, for all the dogs, he, what was it called? Like 7 a.m. in Charlotte or some shit like that? That shit was straight bars. Yeah, right. That shit was straight, you know what I'm saying? But what, today, we in a TikTok era where songs like fucking word, like, you know what I'm saying? Or niggas be dissing on One Dance. One Dance is a good song. Yeah. However, comma, yeah, it played a lot, but he not talking about shit. 
I ain't need a one. He's not talking about <laughs> shit. But like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like niggas, yes, Drake has songs where majority, not, I don't want to say majority because I don't know, but Drake has a lot of songs where he's not talking about nothing, but they bop. You that's feel what's like, going. You feel that's like what's, that matters in his beef, though, like as opposed to like Kendrick. Yes, I because think, it's Kendrick. And, I yeah, say, I say yes just because that's something I can use against you at the end of the day. Yeah, like I think it matters because I have the ability to have storytelling. I have a record of being able to like diss, have like double entendres, everything, and then you have a record of just playing bops, which are fun for the car, but like yeah, in terms of <laughs> word, like in terms like I can use that whenever, and I feel like that's what I mean. Like in terms of rap beef, I can say whatever and mm. like. Am I wrong? Like you gotta be like, yeah, like he's not wrong. Like, and I think make, like I, bops. I'm not gonna lie. I think Drake was wrong for some shit he said in the song. Like, I get more love in the city than than you do. He talking about California. You crazy? <laughs> that, the blood <laughs> niggas love him out. You ain't see his Vice interview. Vice, oh, yeah. yeah, his Vice interview were noisy. The bloods out in LA yeah. love that nigga. What are you about? Yeah, like, like oh no, yeah. But I think my thing with Drake is y'all talking about how like Drake drops all the time, and I feel like that's the thing. Is that Drake drops all the time? He's not taking time to craft his music. Like, mm. I feel like, we, like when Kendrick came out of nowhere with fucking Family Ties, even my dad knew about it. And my dad's not tapped into like new <laughs> nigga shit like that. Because when it yeah. dropped, it was like Kendrick dropping. And Kendrick yeah. Like dropped Kendrick, like long time, yeah. Like right? I think like the thing about Kendrick and I mean Cole, he's been dropping a lot more consistently recently. But I feel like that's because he's going a little bit more in like the Drake direction where he's just dropping music, kind of just drop. Like I feel like his last album, maybe the reason I haven't replayed it as much is because it wasn't like what it usually is like i feel like the fall off or i know was it off when did he was really, the last album when did he what like, was the fall off what, what came first the fall off or off season off season okay because that's the one with the moray and shit like that one was a little bit more commercial of an album but i feel like it was still good there was still good music on there i think this album this time felt like j cole was making the songs are good but i feel like it, it's lacking the soul that j cole usually has Mm, and like okay, he's getting comfortable that. and i feel like that's the thing with drake like drake just it's drop 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 like drake drop a song every four months where drake does drop super duper consistently yeah you know what i'm saying it's not fun what what you think? i feel like drake drake drops like a businessman drake drops like <laughs> summer bops yeah, he right. drops right on time you know it's time for drake bro himself guy the summer because like you know you finna drop in the summer like i have people like drake finna drop a summer album like drake drop summer albums like but who gets the most numbers Hey, that's not even about but that. that are we really? Bro, are we really? really but, I mean, in this beef, right? I mean, it's a, it's a beef of like you know, uh, you know what qualifies to be a, a rapper. Of numbers. It's a beef of like, like quality of who's a rapper. Yeah. We gonna bring up Kendrick's Pulitzer Prize right now. That's true. But, but hold on. But he outsold Mike though. Got no and shit like that too? Yeah, probably. I don't think it's a beef over numbers. I genuinely yeah. think it's a beef over like mainstream rap. Mm. Or qual like I really feel like that's in terms like quality, quality like the com quantity. quality over quantity. I think that's really the conversation. Wait, time out. I don't want to. I don't want to not be able to say this when we switch the topic. Mm. Are we not the same niggas that be mad when niggas don't drop? What you mean? Word. Are we not niggas? But okay, niggas okay, Drake okay, is yeah, dropping bro, consistently. That's a good, that's a Them Drake fans are eating. That's a good question because niggas is mad at Frank Ocean that's for what I'm not saying, dropping, bro. Like, but listen, there are Drake fans that are eating. The there are Drake fans that are eating, but there are also Drake fans that are like. Bro, I miss old Drake. Like, the fact that we are at a point that we can say old Drake versus new Drake what's means that Drake, there's though? definitely a shift. What's, what's old Drake? Old Uzi versus new Uzi. What's old Drake? But, like, in terms of, like, I feel like me as a, like, this could just be a personal preference as a fan, but, like, I would rather wait knowing that you're cooking and be like, that was good as fuck, than to just constantly have streams of music all the time. Because then I'm like, because to have music that I'm not even putting in my playlist, like, Okay, you drop, but I'm not even really listening. Like I feel like there's a thing, there's a line between consistency and then too much consistency. Exactly. Like, <clears throat> like I we, agree. This is we four albums, maybe four or five hours albums into Kendrick. This is Drake's like eleventh album. Not to say that this is a problem, but it's like sometimes it is okay to like take your breaks off from no your word. music and you and know like, craft something else. Because then I'm like, but I mean, think I'm about, about I'm like, right. Taking a break, keep cooking. Like, because if you, if you, if like, you, I'm not gonna lie. If you, it's different from like. Like, I mean, not to say that you don't have to go as hard as you used to do when you wasn't, when you was just first starting out, but at the same time, you don't because you made it. You made nigga, it. you Drake. Like, you, you bro, my nigga, bro, like, you're bro, Drake, bro. Right. What's that thing that Nikki tried to come for her friend for? She was like, I don't think Nikki realized she Nikki, bro. Like, I feel like, like, you can chill and you still gonna be Drake. You come back in two years to be Drake. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh. oh, but just really quick. I just feel like, 
I feel like I know a lot of artists like you could take two years like Drake could take two years off and mm-hmm. we'd still be like yo like Drake just dropped like not yeah because Mo- like, Mr. Morale and the big step is like oh shit catch <laughs> damn that nigga about to be on some ill shit and I feel like there like there are so like not niggas so is excited artists. for a Drake project don't get me wrong though but true it's just not as much no more though I feel like there are artists that do like those two year gaps where it's like okay like in two years like okay I'm really finna get something like I feel like he could get bro, like that cool. no he's bro like six bro I'm I hate lie. it if you kind of bro love is rage <laughs> Two, to I love eternal it. Keep it take. I love you, Ace Rocky, but you know what I'm saying, <laughs> bro. Love was raised two to eternal nah, nah, take nah, 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 nah. was mad long, bro. 2017 to 2020 felt like 15 Pink years, bro. Pink All right, but Pink Tape came. Pink Eternal Take to Pink Tape was. was now we talking about we talking about Uzi. Oh, <laughs> but like Pink Uzi tape. was dropping like singles between that. He dropped. Nah, actually, Eternal Take to Pink Tape was mad long, was but he dropped. He dropped. After Eternal Take, he dropped uh, the deluxe to Eternal Take, and that was like a whole nother album. Yeah, he dropped. Sure. But he's just starting out, though. You're, yeah, he's just starting to hear about Uzi. That's why you got to keep bringing that hunger when you just starting out. That's why consistency is key when you start dropping Uzi. Like, Drake has gotten, Drake like, has gotten like, to that level where he don't need to. And let me go back and listen to some old shit. Like, let right, me go go back, to, go back to Toronto. Okay. Kick it for I a little bit. Saying. Like, you be all right. Like, 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 hey, chill with your son. Like, you kick it with Adonis, bro, for a little bit, bro. But maybe. Drake could stop making music and we would not have we would have enough Drake music to last us. <laughs> hey, but maybe time, this bro. place like, we got a lot of Drake. He drops all the time, bro. Maybe this imagine all the stuff that if it was done, he just dropped like here, just take it out. He got like, shit. <laughs> And it's collabs with everybody. Everybody you know, he got a collab with him. I don't. I don't want. I don't Yo, know more. Yo, but maybe this plays into like the 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 culture vulture shit, bro. Because listen, I was I was uh I was talking to my uncle. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Sunday. Shout out Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Shout out uncle. I'm gonna clip it and send it to him. He's gonna be upset. Oh, uh, shout out <laughs> uncle Sunday. Upset. Yeah, shout out uncle. Nah, actually not. Fuck. Shout out Sunday, bro. Anyway. Shout out Sunday. Yeah. I, we, we we like that. We cool like like war. So, but Sunday was like, yo, like. Like the thing with Drake is like Drake is never authentically himself. Like in the beginning, Drake was mad tough, you know what I'm saying, mad hard. But now as we go along, Drake is becoming a lot more leaning more into like his flamboyant feminine side is what he said, quote. Okay. He said, quote. <laughs> but like low key, like like why is there why can we post a thread of bad bitch pictures from Drake? You know what I'm saying? But before that, like niggas was he was posing like a hard nigga, bro, with Lil Wayne and shit and Burman. Facts. I'm just, I'm just, and I'm just saying, I'm saying not to say like. But do you, but do you not think it's like for a trend? I feel like. I think it's for a trend. It's a culture, say in the culture. Right. I don't even think it's a culture thing. I think it's just like a stay relevant thing. Like I feel like because at this point, knowing how I feel like femininity, knowing how being feminine looks like for someone who is a male. Like, the fact that he is doing that, it's like, I feel like he's at a point where he's like, yo, any press is good press. Like, at the point where it's like, even if you're chatting about me, and like, oh, he's too feminine, like, I feel like it's to a point now he just enjoys it. I disagree. I think niggas like Drake, niggas like Uzi, niggas like Cardi, they're at a level of fame where they realize they could do whatever the fuck they want. You know what I mean? Like, they no longer exist in our society, therefore they no longer subscribe to our society's rules. Mm. So like Cardi wearing a thong, that nigga didn't give a fuck. He wore think? a thong. He wore a thong. That nigga wore a thong. That nigga was twerking. Yeah, I'm putting that picture in here. <laughs> Yo, bro. I gotta see that. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think I, I'm gonna. I, put that it in. wasn't a thong. It was a body suit. It was a body suit, but it looked, like, it looked like a thong. Like, <laughs> it was like riding up on it. It was kind of. That's crazy. You know, what y'all little... think about Kendrick um, coming for Drake's shoe cred though? Jake yeah, because he, he called him a little bitch boy. In the Bro, album. look, so I'm not gonna lie. He called that nigga a sucker. <laughs> look, the fact that you could look up Drake bar mitzvah photos yeah, well, and there will be something that pops up <laughs> could I should say all you wait, need wait, to about his street cred, Jewish? bro. Drake is Jewish as hell. Oh, he a Jew? Yeah. Not a Jew. A, a I mean, Jew is crazy. Wait, what? Drake How? is Jewish. <laughs> it's not crazy, it's just Jewish. Yeah, Jew, <laughs> Jew, like Jewish. Yeah, Jewish. Yeah, trying to say it. No, he's Jewish. Nah, bro, nah, he can <laughs> You're a black Drake is Yo That was funny. bad funny Nah we gonna have that in there funny. But like nah You know what I mean Like he's never had street I feel like that's what Kendrick was playing at Drake never had street cred Drake right. was never a street nigga <laughs> And I feel like As he started to like Progress <laughs> And when he started to get to like uh, Like Fuck. the time when he's with Future He starts <laughs> pretending to be something he's not Which is a nigga that kills people Right. You know I feel like saying? I've been saying this since I started first started listening to Drake back in twenty fucking fifteen. That nigga was on the grassy. That nigga bro. was on the like, grassy, my nigga. He got shot at the grassy, bro. Like, I say all the time. I was like, that was the nigga that was on the 
Sunday Jimmy said. in the wheelchair. Sunday was like Sunday was like that nigga's an actor, bro. He could really like act. He is a great actor. Don't get me wrong. He I didn't. A great was actor. he a good actor? I didn't know if he was. Nah, he's ill. Not he's related ill. Related to like feminist stuff, but it really was like the Ariana effect. Like I really saw him on my screen growing up, and then I was like, "You're famous now." <laughs> like what? Like and like people take you serious now. Like yo, it's a video that I found. This nigga was mad at his mom's because she he, she didn't make him a tuna. He sandwich. said mm, he's he like, mom, away. You didn't make me a tuna sandwich, bro. Like <laughs> you don't come on, bro. I remember this. Like nigga, it's it's a video. I forgot. I just listened to it like probably yesterday to this morning. Nigga Lil Wayne was like, I think he said he had a conversation with Drake when they was when Drake was on Young Money, which is Lil Wayne record label. He was like, yo, Drake is one of those people where <clears throat> he needs to stick to what he knows. Like he was on his TV show, The Grassy. Don't start <laughs> talking about what Lil Wayne talk about, cause you know Wayne is a blood and all that type of shit, right? He was like, wait, Drake don't need to be talking about no killing nigga shit. You know, stick to the TV show, be be a flamboyant dude. Stick with talking about the females. Don't start getting into. The, the tough guy shit because mm. now somebody like Kendrick come along and say nah, my nigga really you really tough you really tough that's I think that's why it's gotten to a point where I feel like the discourse everyone's like bro Drake is just gonna have to fight Kendrick like it's just gonna it's gonna have to like everyone's gonna, like I feel like not even box? just fight not even fight like it's gonna have to be like everyone's listening to this like it's getting like you heavy. think they gonna box you like nigga I got K-Dot nigga <laughs> I got Kendrick like, like six feet five eleven yeah. Like is in joke, but like in terms of like Kendrick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendrick is short. Yeah. <laughs> you know, how how tall Kendrick? I think he like five. I think he's five seven. Y'all don't think y'all think they gonna box though? Who you got? Who you? Got? Brooklyn. Who you got? I'm sorry. I gotta do Kato. I'm sorry. Like who you got? 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 If they. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've seen videos of Drake doing boxing shit. I feel like I don't know. Like that nigga, I don't know, because that nigga is like six foot. That nigga he's cannot kinda, He's kinda fine. built too. Like if we really get into like he, 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 he fake he fake built. I it don't it don't gotta mean nothing. It's a country from Compton. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's it's little niggas that know how to box short, tall niggas. See, it's moments like these. I'm saying that about myself, <laughs> but at the same time, don't get me, don't get it fucked up. Somebody like, come on, give it a Ryan Gosling versus a Drake. Drake taller than that nigga, right? Ryan Gosling will piece that nigga down. Nah, we're. See, height, it's, it's, height don't look. mean nothing in a fight. It just means you bigger than a nigga. Bro, it's moments like this. I hope to God. If you know how to fight, every, bro. that's what I'm saying. That's like, shit, David on, for on. Goliath, nigga. Nigga Yo, being bro. bigger than you don't be nothing. Nah, there's moments like this where I realize, like, I don't ever want to be famous. Because if this resurfaces. What? And not like, like, oh, imagine, like this? Imagine, like, imagine, like, <laughs> next week I blow up on TikTok, right? Like, I start <laughs> rapping. And I gotta, I gotta look Drake in the eyes while he watch this clip. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nah, that's all love, Drake, but. Look, I ain't saying I, I got Kendrick though. I don't know you yet, gang. I'm Boxing sorry. in and the dish it, so look, I always want to support Kendrick, you know. That nigga that nigga really from it. J. Cole was really out the conversation. J. Cole's J. Cole is really Cole. like not. Yeah. But, He's He's right but if I'm being honest, I feel like at the end of the day, it's not really rap. I mean, it's not really fighting, it's just rap. Right. Like just rap. they're not really gonna do shit to each other. You know who is gonna do shit I, to each other? Quavo and Chris Brown. Oh, 100%. Let's get into that, bro. Let's get into that. That nigga said. Let's get into that. There was only one diss track that night. There was only one in front of me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Quavo sold, bro. Quavo sold. I'm not going to lie. Chris Brown. He came back. He came back, bro. Quavo, nah, you sold, bro. You took the L, my nigga. I seen something on Twitter that was like, Chris Brown bought tickets to Quavo sh- like mad tickets at Quavo's you know, show that? 50 cent. bro yeah and like that nigga so that nigga Quavo's performing to like a damn near empty crowd bro yeah bro that was crazy bro wait who 50 cent do that to Ja Rule, ja Rule. Oh, that's yeah, he did that he did that to him a couple years ago I love 50 cent I understand why nigga shot him that nigga's a troll bro that nigga's a troll, bro. That nigga why shot him. Shout out, shout out all my, my Southside 50, Jamaica Queens niggas. 50, look. Don't take 50, none of this out of context. 50, look. I don't 50, think look, he meant that. 50, look, 50, look. This is not no hate for shit. Twice. It's not no hate for shit. 50 Cent cannot be stopped. Like, they had to try. They, they cannot stop 50 Cent, bro. They tried. They failed. Lucky, bro. Lucky, bro. That nigga is a force of nature. Like, that nigga 50 Cent, when 50 Cent don't fuck with a nigga, he is not going to stop, bro. That is the only way you can stop 50 Cent. <laughs> I, gonna lie, I hope this blow up. <laughs> I really hope this don't blow up. But they, they can't even do that. 
Because then he dropped one of the hardest songs of his career. They did try to blow up his car, though. Many men. <laughs> many men. There's Bro, three different versions of many men. Polo G. Polo G got many men. Lil TJ got a many men. You know what I'm saying? Like 50 Cent cannot be stopped. 50, I love you. You can't be stopped, bro. This nigga is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Like, bro, he be throwing the fuck out of people. Like, it be really bad. Like, that's the only solution. That's the only way. Like, he gets the, like he throws these niggas to a point where that that is the only thing you could do is shoot this nigga. Bro, yeah. I mean, he, I don't think yeah. his power with with power yeah. and like because his music. He has Fifty Cent has dropped the album in like a couple years, but as far and he as moved to Houston. Houston, Houston be doing that love. He just dropped the. He just he just put out a film studio. G G unit on film film studio. Yeah, yeah I mean, and South also like he's up in he's up in Houston um, doing shows and shit. Niggas I want to say South Carolina or something like that. I'm probably wild. Char- no, no, Charlotte. Only gonna get better, really? Yeah. Word, word, word. Um, but yeah, like, DMX went to my aunties. Yeah. Like, there's really nothing to discuss in terms of uh, Chris Brown because you bodied that. You delivered. You gave everything that needed to be given. Right. Qu- Quavo really do need to fight him because that put, was crazy. Take off on the song, my nigga. Like, Bro, when, that was, that's what I was going to yeah. say. That was even how true. are you going to prove how... What? No one felt that way? Nobody felt there that was Quavo mm-hmm. would rather Quavo die than... T- there oh, was a literal discourse niggas. about that. Only, and there, was, and there was weird Twitter niggas, bro. Word. And there was weird Twitter niggas. It was weird Twitter niggas, bro. Weird Twitter niggas, bro. There was a whole conversation Word. about how the only weird. reason he passed away was because they were going for Quavo. And Takeoff ended up getting the shot. Like, man, bro. Wait, Chris Brown? Brown? They said this nigga had because of Chris Brown? No, 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 no. They were saying that the reason that Takeoff died was because of like... It was like some beef like Quavo started or like it was some issue with Quavo. Oh, it's fine. Fault. You're good. My fault. fault. I was just kind of like, because she was holding it out and I was just kind of like, oh. but like <laughs> not because I remember I went to that bowling alley because I was in Houston like maybe a week after it happened and there was a security guy who said he was there when it Wait, happened. Wait, they boxed? Nah, they were playing dice and so basically oh, I guess Quavo, was, Quavo yeah. got into a fight with some nigga and then I guess they were trying to shoot Quavo they hit takeoff. But like, bro, now that really was like Brooklyn's right. Like, niggas, it's weird. I don't think it's okay to say that's shit like that. Sports. It's weird as hell. But that was a conversation that was happening. That was where a conversation. Like, so that's why it's like it goes back to what you say about well, like, where's the line? Yeah. Because like, if that's shit, if that's right. internet I, discourse, <laughs> you kind of said it. So you're kind of right. Yeah, like it's like if that was discourse online, am I not allowed to bring it up in conversation? If that was something that was talked about, it's like, mm. how you gonna say no one said it when people did say it, it was conversation. Everyone was like, bro, that's crazy. And people were like, nah, fuck Quavo. Like, right. and it was a whole thing. Nah, you're right. But I think it's also crazy though, because you You're did so say bad. that. Nah, yeah. I ain't gonna but, lie, I think Chris Brown gonna box the fuck out of Quavo. Bro, but I'm sorry. Nah, in terms of coming, an uh, R&B Bro, nigga coming. <laughs> but I feel like this was a diss to Quavo and everybody in the, like, who he rap like too. Quavo. Everybody because how you come back, blood. how you come on? back an R&B nigga and you whooped this rapper and a whole lot of nigga rapper like ass on. <laughs> Eat it up. It sucks to hear, bro. I've been listening to a lot of Quavo recently. It doesn't, you hate it. You hate it. I like Quavo's music. I mean, he, it's, it's, it's alright It's alright It just it's gets forced bad. on you It gets forced on you And I heard Chris Brown I was like bro Like I can't lie you Not Spotify? not even that I like that nigga But it, it hit It hit It hit more than A lot of songs I listened to That that disc was good Like I Dare I say It had to go on the playlist And I was like I can't say this For a lot of people Like And I Even the, the shit about Even when I was saying Like back to back And um The back shit Drake dropped back. the best Pusha And what's the shit Drake dropped against uh, Push ups yeah, push-ups. They, they said the best disc disc <laughs> Some people said the best disc tracks. <clears throat> they said the best disc tracks go in the club. Y'all think that's true? Mm-mm. It's a diss track. Like, D- are you dissing niggas? What repel? No, not for a diss track. Hell okay. no. Oh. Euphoria. I'm not listening to Euphoria. Probably I probably listen to Euphoria like four more times, bro. I listened to it once. I'm not gonna lie. I've been listening to Euphoria OD. Bro, I, I listened to Euphoria just for. Re- I listen to. I watch reactions of niggas watching Euphoria. Yeah, I, do I don't mm-hmm. know if that counts as me listening to it. <laughs> I was I was skating on the way back, bro. Like, you know about yeah, you like, nah, look. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look. I think like if you check my Spotify right now, like diss tracks. If it's just a if it's a diss track i'm here for this nigga to talk shit about this other nigga i think it's more like history i wouldn't watch something like that more than once or more than a couple times like you get it you're like oh man it sounds good this sounds good like they really hate this nigga but i think this falls back into what makes kendrick kendrick because i feel like for people who are just coming for like the culture coming for the fight you can listen to and be like okay i heard it six minutes boom but i feel like it can also if you like 
Kendrick, just like 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 Mateo, you can put it in your file and like listen to it constantly. Like, that's still something you could put as like a Kendrick song in your playlist or whatever. And he's still staying to like my fans who fuck with me gonna fuck with the song. They gonna listen to it because they're Kendrick has had other six like we're you like we heard like another six minute song. Like he's used <laughs> we're used to this. Like I love you. I love I'll listen to it. But it was just like for people who listen to him like this and don't like I know niggas who will put the Kendrick album on all day and just. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back. And that's that's a whole 24 hours. So for us, like for him, it's like, yeah, I'll put it in the place and I'll listen. So, but for us, it's like, yeah, I heard it. I heard it done. Maybe you got two more listens out of me. Like, I'm wondering where it's going to go after this. Drake was supposed to drop last night. Drake was supposed to drop last night. So, what are we, what's going on? I don't know. Bro, how can you, I don't understand. What can, what can you say? Yeah, like, well, nigga, like, 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 I, like shut yeah, up. Like, you know, no, no, you shit. talk about him being size seven. That's really all the push ups was to me. Yeah, Bro, but I mean, like, I mean, I'm sure, like, I feel like the thing is, I remember, like, I was arguing with some nigga about, like, Euphoria versus push ups, and this nigga was like, Euphoria was mid because he, he, he didn't reveal nothing about Drake. And I remember immediately looking at this nigga and going, like, what you want, like a soap opera? Like, <laughs> there's no plot to it, nigga. It's a diss. Like, they just don't <laughs> fuck with each other. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think feel like, like we could just get another disc. We could just be like, yo, we just get another I disc. this shit about you. I and then we could be like, of, damn. I feel like the amount of digest that Euphoria has gotten, like, I'm getting shit that, like, it got to a point that I'm like, Euphoria. I don't even know. Has Kendrick thought of this? Like, there are things that people are p- piecing together and you're like, bro, like, and I didn't have to do that with push-ups. I think it was those just are like, the best diss tracks. Exactly. I love the ones that's like, bro, I, it keeps getting better. Like, everyone keeps breaking and it down. Everyone Kendrick keeps nice finding because new shit. His songs, you really got to dissect You have to dissect it. And it's like, it gets to a point that, like, did he think this or is he just really, like, giving? Because anything and like, like that, like, like yo, that. you're crazy. Like when people were like, I think they got all the way into like Euphoria, but it being like not just Drake's thing, but something else. Like Kendrick getting Euphoria from death. I was like, yo, what? Like I was like, and I didn't need that with push-ups. I just heard and I was like, oh, that was hot. Oh, like yo, he ate with that one. Like that was hard. But Kendrick, it's like every day I'm finding some new shit. I'm like, yeah, you, he cut you. Like he cut you. Oh yeah. And then on top of that, Euphoria is still on its own. Like without dissecting it, it's still just like. <laughs> It's still just like you can have a surface level understanding of what's going on and still fuck with Euphoria. You see, I believe like, when I see you a sexy red, it's too bad. Yeah, like you you not you, raising bro. with you. Like I hate you. I just I don't fuck with you. Like that's really some real shit. Drake's blood. Drake say nigga. Yeah. Drake say nigga all the time. Yeah, Drake, Drake, I say, I think, is he gonna stop saying nigga? Think, no. Stop nah, he's not. No, I think, bro. No, you're not. You're not. If he did, he is. No, you're not flow. Every time he be hitting, he be like something, 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 nigga, something, 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 nigga. Drake, Drake, go open the song like that. <laughs> you know, but you know what the worst thing is that Kendrick did? What? He brought something up that we always felt. I can't lie. I be getting on Drake about his, his Canadian ass, his Canadian, his Canadian oh, biracial yeah. ass. I sometimes like I really be getting on him, and the fact that it's like no matter he really won because it's like if you say it. I can always think of that line and laugh at you. If you don't say it, I will always laugh at you. Like, you really did not win no matter what. <laughs> Next time you say nigga, bro, like, I'm going to be a... <laughs> now, what's that What's that video he got where he had, like, the... You never been in a marquee when it shut down it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Like, and yeah, it's... Man. I think it's about, like... Kendrick. And there's a video of him saying he don't fuck with the Toronto accent. Bro, he shouldn't. <laughs> Them niggas sound horrible. <laughs> he said they sound... Bro, he yo, he used to use the he used to use the hard what's arm. That, what's I'm gonna put the clip in right oh. here. Be like, yo, that's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. He open for Jay. That's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. Yo, that's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. Yo, that's that. <laughs> but like, not. Nah, I feel like, <laughs> look, where where you about to lose all your money? <laughs> oh yeah, nah, <laughs> nigga, niggas been throwing around like a frisbee. But like, bro, nah, I'm not gonna lie. Back to the Toronto accent, cause I really don't fuck with it. Like, this is, I'm really glad we got to this topic. Cause they talking shit, bro. Cause like it's like Drake be Drake be doing all these fucking. German, I hate that goddamn language. Nah, German be sounding crazy. But like, bro. But like, bro. Germany. Wait, what? What? I don't. I said I don't fuck with German. The German language. The German language. How German sounds. The German language. The language. Germans is. I don't give like German people whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I'm wildin'? There's a German RL. This, this nigga wildin', yo. <laughs> bro. Yeah, I mean, they I mean, bro. Like, what you trying to say? The language is... All right, the German language is not pretty. But languages are dumb in the first place. I think English is stupid to learn. Like, but Spanish is mad smooth. <laughs> Spanish is smooth. I like smooth. Spanish, Spanish is smooth, smooth though. Italian is smooth. That's love languages. You the like Roman love languages. Language. The, the Roman, Roman language languages. Is like, you like the love the, it's the it's the it's the it's the European languages that's not. It's the white European language. I don't want to say that, but like. I'm not gonna lie, he's right though. If you heard 
Portuguese. Yo, how you feel about like them African languages, bro? Huh? Like the African languages. You said the African languages? Yeah. I don't really. I don't really know that many. I can't lie. You really don't. I mean, I know, I but no, that's not African. Swahili sounds Swahili. Yeah. Mm, I've heard like Igbo and shit. Oh. In Yoruba. Mm. Mm. That's languages. Hey, yo, I have a question for y'all. What's your question? Uh-oh. Okay. I, I, was, I, was talking, I was talking about this with my uncle. What's your Sunday? <laughs> I know Sunday. It's a Sunday. Sunday. Bro, Sunday shout out Sunday. Always on top of it. Bro, it. so we was talking about Euphoria, the, the song, mm-hmm. and how Drake is a producer on Euphoria. And Sunday said it's crazy because Drake has allegations of grooming, and you and he said, Billy Bobby, baby, that's yeah, song, right? yeah, he definitely said that. But I he, seen that shit, nigga. You seen that shit since I was watching the seventeen. I'm gonna put the clip in here too. You're not getting away. You're not getting like, away, my nigga. This You're nigga not getting don't away, like bro. Drake. This You're not nigga. getting away, bro. I'm putting Yo. the clip here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's time, nigga. She's seventeen. She, she went on. She went on. I think like Jimmy Fallon was like, oh yeah, I talk to Drake all the time. Like, yeah, like, yeah. no. I talk to Drake all the time and. You know, we always text him. He calls, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he calls me. Nah, but the, the girl I'm talking about is a different girl. Like, this is years ago. He pulled the girl on stage. She thought she was 17. Y'all gonna have me get carried away again. I get in trouble for shit like this. Not only you. Y'all gonna have me get carried away again. I get in trouble for shit like this. Not only you. I'm putting that clip in here. That shit is that shit is 300 uh, 360p, but that shit. Oh shit! Um, all right, we still put it in there. Right, 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 sure. But I was saying what I was saying was that since she has allegations of grooming, Sunday was like it's crazy because Euphoria is a show that sexualizes yeah. high schoolers. Yeah, because they. I but I was saying, but I was saying, hold on, I disagree because because it's adult actors, and so he was like, bro, that don't matter. Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying, hold on, let me finish real quick. I'm sorry. But then I'm saying, okay, so how else do we tell high school stories if we can't even use adult actors? And that's because yeah, yeah. obviously in high school you're having, you're gonna have sex. Right, right. And if you want to tell that type of story, you, you, a, a compelling high school story with a drama, drama you know what I'm saying? Because, right, perfect example, right? Not to use, not to use. <clears throat> One more thing, one more thing. I'm sorry again. I, and I told him one of the reasons I didn't watch Euphoria was that it was this? too it was too much sex. It was too sexualized for me. But but I didn't think it was sexualizing kids. But that was that was the thing. Like that has also been the discourse. As someone who's watched all of Euphoria all seasons, there yeah, exactly. I feel like the thing the the reason that we were talking about it, like Sam Levinson, like he was doing weird shit and we were like that's not even how the script was supposed to go and that was one of the things and to talk about what you were saying i feel like it's not necessarily true i like i don't agree because just for someone like zendaya who puts in her like contract she doesn't like sexual scenes there were still ways of her portraying a crazy love story that people fan about stand about all the time and she literally never had her clothes off once she was literally never naked once and then there's someone like cassie was like her boobs were out literally every fucking episode especially yeah sydney sweetie especially like season two we were like she was on the um carousel she was wildin', bro. Like, I'm gonna keep we, it like, sad, bro. Like, why did you put that in the show? Where yeah, did you put the show? Is yeah, that was, we didn't that was, even, we that didn't was even the need... distasteful part. Exactly. Yeah, and well. then this is supposed to be a uh, high schooler going to, getting drunk, getting fucked up like it happens, but like, do we need the whole carousel scene to go as long as I it agree, did? I agree. She was basically she like... She was moaning like, crazy. Yeah, she was, was like, carousel? because yeah. she was on Molly, she was, she was off Molly. She was off Molly. That's also, there's an important context. sexualizing kids or is that just obscene scenes that we do not... Unnecessary sex scenes. But I think that wasn't was a necessary scene. I, I think feel like her both. being on Molly was I like... I think the idea of both, because like I feel like, okay, this is me getting maybe too scripted, but like even the sense of like her being on the carousel and like the carousel recognizing like youth and childhood, like when are you ever on a carousel other than when you're like a little kid? She was in like this little dolly dress and like her hair was like, it was just like... Like just a lot weird. going on it and it was like only singular to her and that's the thing because in the show symbolic. it didn't even show anyone else around it was just her in like the fun little music with like the pretty little lights and colors like yeah, well, yeah. Never get you finished sh- you didn't watch the show i think my I, whole I, thing I, I tried three times. Oh, i watched the whole show i, I watched was, the whole show I and i think my takeaway from euphoria is my same takeaway with a lot of these like high school shows where it's like they're all doing drugs all doing shit like that there is a better way to tell these kinds of stories and it's to tell them about college students 
Oh, I think yeah, like they could have went to college. It's right? consistent. Like, college, right? Like I think my right. thing is like they all look. My thing too, is like shit. like this, right? I feel like Hollywood and like media as a whole has this really weird obsession with teenagers, and like telling stories about teenagers. Like most of the dramas you're gonna see are about teenagers, but I think shows like Grownish they show that like you can tell these stories and they're more interesting stories because you get more kind of development with these. Characters. And there ain't no sex in them at all in times. college, and no. you can and they can have sex. If you want to be gross, sex, but it's not like it just stops. Pretty little, pretty little lies too. They don't really do no sex. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't lie. Ginny and Georgia did a great, good thing too. Like I didn't watch. Like uh, like some shows just insinuate it. You yeah, know? Yeah. So, so you, you all right? Especially if they're younger. Like I think even regardless of age, like younger characters are things you don't want to see. That's that's nothing you should be showing off. Like it's normal. But I I'm just saying. Every generation. Has that show though? Yeah, that, that and I think I was about to say, like, like they had Degrassi and shit. Not even just Degrassi. Well, yeah, Degrassi, but I feel like every like generation has like that just raunchy show that I feel like supposed to be critiqued. Like there was Degrassi because there was shit about Degrassi often. There was what? What do we have growing up? Thirteen Reasons Why. We had Thirteen Reasons growing Why. Up, wait, that shit was crazy. Growing up, how old was I? Thirteen Reasons Why. Did you watch it? I did. I did. Yeah, I did watch. it. I can't. That was middle school for me. We were watching that shit in middle school. Was I on high? Yeah, oh yeah. And that was, was that was that was worse because we were talking about drugs. We were talking season. about. We were talking about. Yeah. We were talking about. We saw a lot of things that we didn't need. But I mean, to be seen. I mean, I wouldn't say like. Do y'all think a show like Euphoria is necessary though? No, no. no? I think hold on. Because not only is euphoria not like, the sexy, not, not the necessary, sexy, not the sex. I shit, feel like not even just the sex shit. Necessary. Yeah, I, I think the say. topics are necessary. My problem with euphoria is, is it is objectively a bad show. Why? Like mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, like yeah, the, way they, the, the way they, the way they treat. The, really good. No, it's not. Really good. I think the story, Rue's story, is really good. That's yeah. That's it. That is all people come for for euphoria. Cassie is nonsensical as shit and just tweaks out for a whole. I'm season. I'm not even gonna lie. Right? I didn't give fucking what happened. No, no. Because here's my thing too. Like with fucking what's his name? My favorite character in the show. I didn't give a fuck about none of these niggas. With the exactly, you don't give fuck. About none of these niggas yeah. except for maybe like no, nah, I didn't care for Rue either. I cared about Rue because I feel like she just did her mom dirty. She had running. She did her mom dirty, but I think Rue, like Rue's the I think Rue. What made Rue interesting to me is like she is one of those people who's like, well, at what point is it your fault? You know what I mean? Like with Rue in that case, because like obviously she was going through a lot, but like in this case she wasn't willing to let go of her problems and she destroyed the things around her, right? Her relationships, her friendships, everything. And so that's what makes Rue interesting. That's what makes Rue. And then they acted her ass off in that show. Right. But for characters like Cassie, characters like Maddie, Jersey. characters like Nate, they're just assholes. There's nothing that you really but gain from having them. I don't. I don't necessarily. But also, that. they like they forget like fucking Barbie Ferreira's character. Like her plot just gets no, completely okay. sidelined. So this is where I say that the issue with that was it comes into like. Sam Levinson wasn't supposed to be the director for Euphoria. Ooh. And I feel like that would have shifted everything. It was supposed to be this other lady, and I'm sorry for not knowing her. I'm sorry. I shout still out, love shout women. Out to you. But shout out to you. Um, we'll, we'll put it, maybe we'll put it down. Maybe right, not. Right, right. <laughs> I just wanted to say that in a movie one time. But anyway, not important. But um, it, she wasn't supposed to be the director. I mean, he wasn't supposed to be the director. So I think that also took his trajectory because he started singling out certain characters. It was like him and Cass, like um, Kat, had issues. Um, Barbie Ferreira, yeah. they had issues offset, which affected her character in the show. Mm-hmm. And we found that out. We were like, we're probably not going to see her. And look at that. We literally didn't see her in the show. Like, that's how it went. What was the name but. Of Really quick, really quick though. Nate. No, in terms no. of no, not Nate. Um, oh. <laughs> I damn, <laughs> it's in like the tip of my tongue. Hold on. Yeah. But in terms of the show though, Almost. I feel like I don't necessarily disagree. I'm not disagree. I do disagree actually because I feel like the other characters gave the context of high school. Like because I feel like if it was solely focused on Rue, like. Because they were marketing it as a high school show, I feel like only giving Rue's perspective would have just been like, okay, like that's cool. But everybody else, like it kind of really did make high school because I feel like realistically, like take all like the glamorized stuff out of it. That was low. I don't know about everyone else high school, but that was my high school. And it was like the fact that we were able to go home with some characters and see like outside of it. Cause like, I feel like their actual day to day high school showed what we did. We didn't really talk about much. It was like petty high school drama. They went home. Yes. It might've been dramatic, but like, Cassie's mom was a drunk. Like Rue's mom was like a workaholic mom that was a nurse that was staying away from her. Like that's a real shit that kids went back to. So I feel like that perspective, especially in a high school show, right. was definitely something that needed to be seen. <clears throat> and realistically, I feel like if you go back in your foyer and you took all the sex scenes out, it could still be the show would still be just as good as I it agree, is. Yeah, it, it, without the sex, it would know, certainly be. It a would good still show. be a good but show, I and like, I think that is a credit that has to be given to like the actors to the show because like not many shows can do that. I feel like to a certain degree, I mean. Yes, the sex scenes in the show would like 
I feel like I mean I take I mean I'm comparing it to a show like Power who has a ton of sex scenes in Power. I mean, you, I could go through every, every episode got a power scene, got a sex scene. Hella, bro, it's like transitioning. Damn, like word. You, you'll have sex next scene. Like, <laughs> and I feel like no, some sex like, scenes are so I mean, like. So much sex nah, scenes. word. Some word, sex scenes. Was, yeah. Some sex scenes advance a relationship between characters. Others are just like, bro. But I feel what? like even in a show okay. like Euphoria, what? those sex scenes are like, because I mean, we was kids, you know, experimenting think, and shit like that's that. That's the thing. I don't think it's the sex scenes. I think it's the young sex scenes because just like you brought up, College Power had it. Would have been better, yeah. Power had it. Um, Game of Thrones had it. No one had an issue with that. Right. They're well, yeah. Facts, it's the issue that it's high school sex scene and it's something intimate about that even for you like even as a person it's like i'm thinking of myself like in my youth you know but, i wasn't perfect at everything i was doing like but then it's real i mean not to like disagree i'm not disagreeing with you but to but there are situations like that though like there are a lot of like hornballs in high school that do shit like they doing in the show no i agree and that's what i feel like that's why i wouldn't say necessarily take all all the sexualization now because i think there was sexualization in the show that had points like to a certain to a certain extent right. but then i feel like again there was points where like cassie was literally just naked and like they had like a li literal three minute sex scene and we were like for Wait, what who was she having sex it was like nate and cassie like it was like one of the episodes of season two and we were like we don't even fuck with these characters right now because they're doing fuck shit we don't want to see them and you just gave me three minutes of cassie's titties on my screen for yeah. what like yeah. Not it just lie. didn't make sense. Y'all think what's the name talented too? Cause I have been niggas saying she's not really a talented yeah, actor. Yeah, word. I bro, I don't really. Um, um, what was the movie I she think did? She played perfect for her character. She did some fucking. She did some horror movie recently. I heard she's really good in. I think Sydney Sweeney is a good actress. I know. I mean, but also she's like smart. Like I remember I was watching some interview where she was like, "Oh, she's like niggas is niggas is making fun of Adam Webb, right?" But she's like, "But think about it. Like that got me connections with Sony." Right. And she was like, "And then I was able to make anybody but you." And I was like, "Damn, you know what? Like that's actually that's I how you gotta think that. about it. Like though, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I hustle. think I, I think she's a good actress, and I feel like to do the to play an absurd character like Cassie, because I feel like nothing Cassie does makes sense, and I think Cassie as a character pisses me off a lot. But then it's, I mean, it, again, it's but she, but she makes it like people it, like that in high school. Yeah, she's like that. Yeah, it's people like that in high school. That's why like I say that. the show I is, is it's she, a little gross, yeah, but it's real. To I know. think it's to answer your question, if she, oh sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I didn't mean like to answer your question if she's a good actor. I think the fact that how good of her acting made people think she was that ditzy in real life to when when they found out she made cars and like is actually they were like what? Mm -hmm. I feel like that shows that you're an actor because everyone was like oh like. It got to a point where like people were mad at Cassie like Sweeney. Like they were upset with her like on the internet. Like we were like, guys, she's a character. Like yeah, but... <laughs> this isn't me. But she played it that well that it was like, this was like some shit you do. Like, have you ever had like character this isn't sorry, not to go on topic, but have you ever had characters that are like, even though you knew they were acting, you just can't discern the actor from the character because they Tariq played it on that power, well? that nigga be because pissing. Yo, me I was just about to say that niggas was pressing uh Tariq actor, like, yo, bro, you a bad son, bro. What the fuck? You like nigga, it's a pop, character, nigga? bro. <laughs> That's too funny. As nah, the nigga who plays Homelander can never catch a break, oh, bro. bro. He can't. He can never. Twitter, that poor Instagram guy, bro. He that poor, poor man. He's nah, he apparently is, like. Is he a blonde in real life? Yeah. No, no, he oh, is okay, right. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not. He's Yo, got like he brown hair. Blonde, he's bro, Anthony Starr, not a blonde. I'm he's not blonde. Oh, I'm blonde. But like, bro, that nigga actually. Cause I remember my dad's friend was on a show with him, right? Called Banshee. And bro, oh, literally, with him. your dad act? My no, nah, my dad's friend was an actor. Okay, bet. Right. Yeah, not apparently, bad. like he's like, yeah, that guy's like really chill. Like I just, I think that's mad funny, cause it's like there's a clip of like him and the guy who plays Huey, Huey in the van, mm -hmm. and he's like, yo, how you doing? And he's like, and Carrie's like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, fuck I seen that. Fucking ass. <laughs> and it's like, bro, that nigga's not like that. Like fucking Hugh Jackman and Wolverine. Hugh Jackman's a theater nigga. That nigga literally like quit yeah. Marvel shit to go tap no, dance. He went on Greatest Showman. Everyone was like, oh. <laughs> like and he loved that shit, bro. He did like he a loves that show. bro. He did fucking Les Mis. He did like a, a stint and he's been, he was doing a stint in Broadway for dumb long. Diesel, but also, but he also low key does. But that no, 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 no. Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel acts how he thinks he is. Am I wrong? I feel like Vin Diesel plays the same nigga. I feel like Vin Diesel plays the same. I, I feel like I've he never just, seen. Just speaks, you know who played the same? The Rock. Kevin the Rock. Hart. Kevin Hart. And the Rock. Wait, nah, hold on, hold on, nah, nah. Hold on, hold have on. you seen Fatherhood? Bro, have you seen Fatherhood? Fatherhood was okay. Yeah. Fatherhood, Fatherhood was, was a, yeah. What Fatherhood. About, was what, about, what about the show? I, I mean, the movie. What about the movie where he was with the nigga from Breaking Bad? Oh, that one was good. Yeah, that was pretty good. He's playing. He's like he's. Kevin Hart could kind of get there. I feel like he was in that show with Wesley Snipes. I saw they had a movie called Lift. It was like this. 
heist show or heist movie mm-hmm. oh, with okay. Kevin Hart. He he wasn't playing Kevin Hart, but it was still like it was still it was, it was, cool. It was cool. It was right. cool. So the movie was kind of bad, but The Rock. I feel like he played the same nigga in every movie. Bro. Yeah, even at, in Black yeah. Adam. <laughs> basically, big, post, big nigga with muscles. Like, I saw this post right, and it was like these are four different Rock movies, and that nigga was in a Jumanji. fucking t- like a khaki button up. With sleeveless gloves, and he's like, "Would you believe me if I told you these are four different rock movies?" And they were. <laughs> it was well, Jumanji, Jumanji. Central Intelligence, <laughs> fucking Rampage, Rampage. <laughs> fucking, bro. And that's why Black Adam pissed me off so much because I was like, "Bro, like we get." I, I was like, "Dude, I fully expected Black Adam to be the first time the Rock act. Black, he should have had, he should have had an accent. This nigga, bro, like, you can't tell me that's why Black Adam made me so mad, bro." Because it was just The Rock. I'm just watching The Rock with superpowers. Y'all think somebody like him, like him has the potential to be the best actor? Rock? No, yeah. No. What's the other one? Rock. Center of the World. He was also Journey to the Center of the World. That was the other one. That was the other one. That was the other one. Journey to the Center of the World. Where is Sewish Mountain and Jumanji? San Andreas all in the rocket. You can't tell me you know which movie that is. Bro, even fucking, what's it called? Jungle Cruise. Bro, fucking Jungle Cruise made me so angry. Jungle Cruise. Because Jungle Cruise, you expected this nigga's a conquistador? And he's just the rock. He was a conquistador. That was the point. <laughs> nigga, like, come on, mummy, what? A scorpion king. He looks slightly different. That's it. You Bro, can't tell fucking all those, all those, all those, all those forest movies together, and be like, which, what, what, which Bro, one? Bro, this nigga, the rock, live in the Amazon rainforest. Bro, you can't confuse. You can't tell me nothing. Bro, I really thought Race to Wish Mountain was set into the, the journey to the southern. You can't part. tell. I was like, you can't they all tell, just bro. Race to Wish Mountain was tough. That was good though. No, that was. I did like that movie. I did like that movie. He was younger though. He wasn't like. He was a big rock then. He was. He was rock. Yeah, he was. He was. No, he was the way. Nah. Wait, oh, it's too fair. I fucked with too fair. fair. I fucked with like, too I did like too fair. That was I did like, bro. That was Dwayne. That was Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Yo, he was thin. He got the hat. Yo, bro. I was talking about. He was. He was the Rock. I feel like niggas now call him Dwayne Johnson. Wait, hold on. Back then he was the Rock. Cause though he was coming straight from WWE, you know, I feel like right now he's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta put <laughs> all, no, of it. He's all of it, bro. <laughs> but if y'all no. notice, no, because there are certain places he was Rock, he was the Rock. Certain places he was Dwayne. He was Dwayne. I was gonna be this guy Merz now. He just did WrestleMania. He's all of them. Yeah. But if you think about it, have y'all like been watching the Rock? Has he been getting like bigger? Have y'all been like he's been getting older he's and like, and like huger and like, balder every, every time, every day. Every he's he's taking up more more space. That's funny. Big as hell. Like, you think like, he's on steroids? Like, <laughs> I used to think John Cena was on steroids. I think he was though. I ain't gonna lie, he probably is. Muscular, he probably is. Muscular ass. He's on steroids. Muscular. You can't make that shit on. You cannot do that shit by yourself, bro. You think he's like? It's the point now. He's gotta be acting. It's the point now when he lifts the weight, he just still stays. Like that shit looks good, bro. He looks like a superhero. Bro. All right, all right, all right. Um. Well, this is our next segment. We about to get into uh. What's, oh, because the internet will be answering kooky crazy questions. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, first one I got here is Bomba oh, Club. Yeah. Bomba. <laughs> That's right. Y'all yeah, been saying that shit for too long, but I gotta stop. Um, I'm like in Jamaica. All right, for so the first one is <laughs> no. You Jamaican? No. I'm about to, this nigga's not. You not you Jamaican, right? I'm nah, tr- right? nah, I'm half. I was about to say this nigga's not. <laughs> I'm half. I'm half Trini. I don't think there's a Trini. I'm half Trini. I'm half. I'm half. I'm half. I'm half. I'm half. I'm half. That have love. Bro, I'm half, bro. No, I'm half. My dad is tr- bro. My dad is both his parents are Trinidadian. Are we talking about cu- culturally? I'm American as fuck. I can't lie, bro. Culturally, or <laughs> but like, what's the question? All right, so we gonna get into the what are you convinced people are pretending to enjoy? Play Bacardi. Person or Play just think? You're wrong. Anything. You're Carson's wrong. Music. I'll fight you Ted on that. Carson's music. Yo, chill. Ch- 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 you're wrong. Music. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Look, 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 look. That shit hard, bro. You're wrong. I disagree. Hood by Air is a great song. Who? Hood by Air. That's a great song. He never Air. dropping it, but it's a good song. Wait, that's put him in the car, right? Put him in the put him in the car. Put him in the car. That shit hard. That shit low hard. Fiend? His feature on Fiend wasn't. I know we did an episode. We talked about Paper Cardi, Bro. but it, it was hard. Bro, I fuck with Paper Cardi. <laughs> but you know who I think niggas are pretending to like, and I'm sorry because I feel like I I I fit in the subgenre of niggas that should like this. Tizo touchdown. I can't I can't do it. I can't I can't do it. You say he's ass. Oh, no, I'm thinking about he was like. I don't play like I'm beefing with the rap. Like, I on can't, it. bro. I'm sorry, Tizo. Like I'm, tr- I, I try I so hard. Tizo Korean. I don't think no, Tizo Korean is just ass. Like that nigga just, just sucks. Right oh shit! Give her the mic. Let me hear what she got. Is it? Who, who mainstream? This, this wasn't my thing, but like you were just saying all these specific names, and I was like, it don't matter. They rap right now just isn't. It's yeah, it's in a bad spot right now. See, crazy. Upholding it. And female or male? Yes. 
Who's females? Females? both? Well, I would say. I feel like if we talk about females, I feel like Meg. Doja. Doja. Do- no, Meg. no, you can't, you can't no. Wait, wait, no. wait. This nigga no. said Meg. How? No. Upholding rap. Meg the Stallion. Upholding rap. Or like, like just. Or who's popular in rap? There's two There's very different yeah, things. Word. I was talking about. Shout out. Because for hip hop, it's not trash, but I wouldn't say it's holding up female hip hop, bro. I would it's say very pop. No, mulatto. I, no, if see the thing about like Meg is that I feel like people focus on like she really be spitting like bar for bar she really does be spitting. It just might not be everyone's delivery. In terms of like who's really holding it though, I can't lie. If you listen to Doja, if you listen to Doja, bro. In terms of rappers, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Agora Hills is my shit for a little bit. I ain't gonna hold it. Agora Hill, Agora Hills, is fucking eight. I'm sorry, it's like why, why, why. she has. Like her, hate her. As someone who is literally a fan of her and literally had to take a hiatus and a break because she was O.D. Wallen, she, she gotta, has a she tendency of popping back <laughs> up and popping back on, and it's not for invalid reasons. Like, because everyone hated her for a minute. She went to Coachella. She ate that bitch up. She gave us a little. She gave us a little. She ate that shit up. Wasn't she in the She gave us a little extended version. She hates y'all, though. She don't fuck with y'all. She don't, don't fuck with none of her fans. And like, how why, many why, why you people that? do you well, like that don't fuck with you that you support? We not saying that. We not stay on topic. Uzi said he love me. <laughs> wait, 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 though. She did the old red shit at Coachella, right? She did Scarlet album at Coachella. No, I'm saying not the music. I'm talking about like the outfits. The know? all red? Yeah. She, all red. Shit hair. I'm going to put the picture in here because i definitely seen that shit. Yes. The all red was for... She Met went Gala. to some fashion show. Yes. Met Gala, one of the Met Galas or a fashion yeah, show or whatever. Her whole body. Her whole yeah, body. And word. Jules, right? And oh, Jules. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I kind of stopped like, listening to her. But in terms of... Like, at the end of the day... I feel like Doja... I feel like... As a nigga that like fucks with Doja, I feel like because I, I I fuck with a lot of female rappers, I think they're tough. As somebody who fucks with Doja's music heavy, I think she's really hard to support. Like she be doing no, she's shit, really hard to support. and she like she makes it hard. Like you know, every time she gonna do something, she gonna do some bullshit. But you hold but it it's down. like, but look, her music no, is so good. You kind of can't. I pr- promise you, promise you, I'm not. Like when I promise you, I just came back off of the lo- no, like did. I came back off the <laughs> right. bit. Like when I was done, I came to Kai. I said, Kai, like it's off. Like it's off the playlist. I did not listen to her, and. I literally say this all the time. If she just shut up <laughs> <laughs> and make good music, she'd eat. She'd eat. And she's getting a little bit better now. But I genuinely think, like, there is a time that I I said I'd come back when I felt like she's grown. And I'm not saying she's grown right now. I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. But I also feel like I have to offer room for my artists to have their growth and their grace. She's 20 something. She's 20, uh, 20, what, 4? 20-something. She, she's 24. She's not much older than me. She's four years older than me. I have to be like, okay, let me meet you where you're at at the end of the day. You know what I mean? You got fame. You got good. You grew up in a white household. You've grown up not really knowing your black side. Like, I can't really get into that. And I feel like you are under, to a certain lens, a microscope because you are growing in the public eye, whether we like it or not, at the end of the day. And there's a lot of shit that we've done that, respectfully, we would never have to fully confront because no one's going to put us on the spotlight. That shit that we don't have to go over. And that's not condoning her shit. That's not saying any of her shit's right. You sound like. When the hiatus was done, the hiatus was there and validly so but also i can't lie she does make good shit and i'm gonna give credit where credit is due all right. that's all all right my nigga what you think shit, about what you what you think people are convinced to uh or pretend to enjoy shit what is some shit i don't really have anything on my mind right now like <laughs> hey, I'm try, not try to make it non-music related non-music related yeah we've been talking about music for a minute what's some shit that people fuck with that i don't really fuck with um shit i don't fuck with chitlins Thank you. Thank you. Bro. I just don't fuck with it. I remember like, I I remember like, bro, I'm not going to lie. This is probably the most out of pocket thing I think I've ever said in a white space. But like, bro, where's she going? I was, it was, it was in my English class and I feel like it's about chitlins. Don't worry. It's, 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 I'm making fun of chitlins. But I remember like they were talking about, cause it's like a lot of like my classes are like racial bias classes cause education, they kind of, they're trying to like hammer the idea of like, yeah, like training that out and teaching like culture sensitive classes. Like, that's what they've been trying to teach us, like, that we want to create, like, spaces where you, like, integrate students' culture. Do you think that's, like, for real? Like, deadass? Like, yeah, you they're, think they're, y'all are really, really... But, no, no. But, really like, as a student, it. but, like, are you really learning? Do you think, like, that's going to really affect you as a teacher going I think, forward? Okay, well, I'll... Yeah, that's, like... I'm writing a paper on that right now, actually. But, mm. like, yeah, I think that is a thing that, like... Because it's yeah. a... 
they're uh, teaching you like to be sensitive and to integrate students culture as like a thing so like you build your lesson plans around the students right mm-hmm. and then that way you build a community of class space where you know obviously you're teaching tolerance through teaching about the other students you know what i mean there's a lot of benefits to it there's like a lot of test trials like the concept of a culture sensitive classroom that are being run right now and it's all of them are pretty positive but back to my statement right mm. he was like oh a lot of people are like in florida and stuff like that are teaching that slavery had a benefit and i was like it didn't because it gave wait, us wait. chitlins because mm. it, like, it, it was like because they were like because they were like yeah no no i teach no he didn't say that but he was like a lot of people like in florida are making the argument that like oh. students are like that like they're teaching that like oh slavery had a lot of like benefits to it I mean, that like Florida, people learned that like that they learned a lot of life skills and I was like no because that's where we got chitlins. <laughs> I fucking hate chitlins, bro. No, I that wasn't my argument, but I just don't fuck with chitlins. <laughs> I, just don't. I can't lie, that was my thought. I said that's yeah. what she said. To I, that's that is what I you said to that, that and bro, that was like, that was, that was your moment? bro, that was the that was the worst chitlins, part. Bro. Nigga said slavery was cool, my nigga. They said nah, nigga, this because of chitlins, bro. Oh, this was a couple little harder than no, that. But I mean, like, like, I feel like that was kind of on theme though, because the whole point was that they were like, "Oh, but they learned life skills." No, we learned how to make chitlins. <laughs> oh goodness. To your point about your the racial bias class, I feel like it's good in theory. I just don't think, at least, I can only speak for the school I've been, which is Pace University, PWI. Just if anyone didn't know, um, you don't have to look it up. I just told you. Um, <laughs> it's in theory, it's it's a good class if they would allow for actual discourse so people could learn Ooh, like if we could point. actually like really get into it and chat and really have like discourse even if it resulted in niggas not really feeling comfortable with each other like understanding like setting ground rules because i feel like i've seen it i've seen it done i've seen it be like yo in this space don't care if you fuck with the morals don't fuck with the more like we're gonna get through this class we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about some real shit and it's gonna be honest i feel like it's very centered and i say that because i had one class where it was like the i will never forget this it was my ethics class and it was the last class of the entire year and she'd never done this before the first time ever she was like she put on a discussion about like incarceration like jail incarcerations and what did that do for mental health and that conversation got taken and she started off with the video we walked in she was like sit down we're gonna play this video we're just gonna you know give you some updates this is it like on ethics and then at the end of the video she opened up for conversation and that was the first time we really had discourse in that class and i can't lie to you there were people i had like chatted with thought we were cool and i did not like their side i was like yo i'm seeing a lot that you would never think of like people thinking this way because there was never room for that conversation and you would think it's an ethics class why has this never been discussed why has this never been brought up i'm just now learning on the last day like I, I was gonna say that because i wonder if this like like you said is the schooling that we do like all this college stuff mm-hmm. all the education that we go through is it really necessary like you guys are film majors what you guys do do you think it really contributes to anything you need to do in your field I yes would, so. i would say yes and no like partially because what i can learn in the classroom i can also learn out of the classroom but I feel like, yeah, as far as the like connections and shit like that that you made, I mean, I'm not saying here, oh, but I mean, network. outside, yeah. you probably no, want to, if you have none, then you probably do want to probably go to school for it. Yeah, go school I mean, go school. or in, you know, I mean, a lot of filmmakers, if you start now, you don't have equipment, you don't have much of shit. So school, going to school, it does give yeah. a quick, I mean, look at, we recorded, we got mics. Well, no, you, you pay it's not free. No. You paying. You pay. You pay. Yeah, and then Bro, you ate. taking a loan so that you can you can try you can try to get to use that sometimes. And then you also able to like as a film nigga like you able to like build your portfolio up like me and Makai we film majors like we able to build our portfolio up and shit like. And that, there's so. networking like I think that's an under really underrated aspect of I college. Think that depends on the school though. Yeah, I mean, exactly. That does that's depend that's on the school. Yeah, this school. Like, but I think also like I mean here I feel like there's good op- network opportunities like our career services especially for like DCF people is pretty solid like I mean oh, yeah? like, we had like News Twelve here that's that's a good opportunity for a lot of people who like want to work in like production and media production so there's a lot of stuff out there that i feel like college has for benefits and i think also like it's a growth thing like i feel like i'm not the same person i was even a week ago you know what i mean like college allows you to change and puts you in situations you otherwise wouldn't be prepared for and i think that's really important but also there'd be a lot of bullshit bro it'd be a lot of bullshit i'd be meaning it because like i think because i'm technically like a lot of my classes fall under the history department and i'm like really into history so that's like that's like where a lot of my shit is and it's like, bro, we were talking, I think, I forgot what we were talking about, about this dude, we were talking about some, some about fucking Congress, and about how I was like, I think we were talking about how they said they wouldn't deny Trump the right to vote on a federal le- the right to run on a federal level, and my, t- my teacher asked why is that, why that is, and I was like, well, he has a majority of that people, like, voting, or people, like, two of those people he put in the, not House of Representatives, uh, Supreme Court, because I know he appointed Brett Kavanaugh, and was it Amy Cohen Barrett was the last one? 
Yeah, I, I don't know. You guys know? It's David Cody no, Bear. Because I, I wasn't super. <laughs> Someone want to fact check it? it a couple years ago. I don't know, but like, bro. <laughs> and a lot of shit is happening yesterday. Immediately yeah, afterwards, bro. I don't remember specifically what he said, but I just remember like it being some bullshit. This nigga was just talking, talking, talking. He's like, no, actually, um, right? Because that's those are the niggas. Those are the niggas I work with. <laughs> actually, well, if you look back at, and then he wound up being wrong. Right. Like he wound up being wrong. Right. And I'm just like, well, of course they're not gonna like. But it's like, that's the thing though. And it's like, I get a lot of those experiences here. And I mean, maybe it's because it's a PWI, but I feel like, like the amount of microaggressions I feel like I've experienced, <laughs> just gone through the fucking, through the roof, bro. That through PWI, the roof. PWI, HBCU conversation, that's some real shit. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying I though. I get into, bro. I feel like, I don't get the, I don't like, feel like I get the discourse that I want because I'm at a PWI and I can't lie. It really be basics because even when we do finally have the conversation ethics, it's like basic shit that you would think people would know, but we know and they don't. And then we bring it up and it's like, whoa. And now we're ba- I feel like we're ba- like, we're backtracking off of like crucial things that could be talked about because we have to you gotta, have you these gotta start little, we got to start shit. real big. Like there were things that I think I was in my psychology of civic engagements class right and we were talking about like intersectionality mm-hmm. yeah. does everyone here know it intersectionality intersectionality nah. intersectionality is basically when like you have like multiple different labels on you so like me like i'm a woman i'm gay yeah and i'm black that's three things so that's your intersectionality it also goes to like religion like if i was like of any religion or anything like that that's how it works right Shout out to the black gay women <laughs> Thank you. Word, word, word. Okay. Intersectionality, mm-hmm. right? So, like, you would be like a, a lot of shout out black man. <laughs> yeah, you'd be. That's two things on you. You're also film. That's like it's like basically like your different communities. Essentially, that's pretty mm-hmm. much what it is. And we're having that conversation, and we're supposed to have like a different, like a really deep conversation about like how your intersectionality like impacts like the world around you, plus your life and everything about that, right? And long story, it's, it's supposed to get like deep and personal, right? And we're supposed to have a real breakthrough in like how that affects school, how you want things to change. First conversation we have, I'm not going to discriminate, but I, I look young. Like, I feel like it, it shows like the difference of conversation, right? Me, I'm aware of my intersectionality. I'm getting deep conversation. We open the floor up to this one guy. I just really wasn't aware that there was like so many different backgrounds. As a white suburban male, that's literally what he said. He was like, yeah, like just to see all these like, different people like i just wasn't really aware and like again for your experience that's cool but like that's like beginning level of like the conversation that we need to have but now you you just let me know that we can't even really have that conversation because you're like somebody got left behind you're one on one, like you're in 101 like you're 101 we're 104 you're just learning this and i was like we're in college so in terms of that for PWI, like it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. Number one. And it doesn't help in forwarding the conversation because we keep like, you would think out of people, we're starting from jump. We, there's not a lot of progression that's going to happen right now. Like in this 30 minute, two hour class, like we can't get a lot done. But even then I feel like at the same time, we might be idolizing like the HBCU or what that might mean, because we're just, we can only look at it from where we are. We here yeah. are disadvantaged. I, I mean, I wouldn't say disadvantaged. We have tons of advantages. We get a lot of opportunities. And I feel, I mean, yeah, more money, more jobs. They look at us more because there's, there's nothing. I mean, we're just, we're the only people here, you know, we're the minority. So they got to give us something or to appease us or we're going to riot. Yeah, exactly. I got to give us something. We're the diversity. I I seen this thing. (laughs) Oh, man. Bro. They got all of us, bro. We're all on it, bro. Bro. I'm thinking about it now because this is before I met, bro. I see the nigga. I see the nigga. Oh, that's funny as shit. <laughs> you can like, find me, bro. I, not, bro. We can go to the site and I can you know what's really funny? Mm-hmm. I'm not in any of those pictures, and you know what I found out? Mm-hmm. If we wear logos, mm-hmm. they can't take pictures of us. Really? What? If we wear logos, they can't take pictures of us. No, any logo, like any logo, like anything with a logo on it, they can't take pictures of us. Mm-hmm. So anytime I see those cameras out, I go in my room and I change. <laughs> you sign away. You sign away so many rights. It's kind of crazy. Like before you even like apply to the college, you gotta sign away the right to your face. Like they can use your face to market. Yeah, yeah it's like they do, that, they do, that, they do it everywhere. School, yeah. But I mean, you sign. I I, I, I did not. I don't ever remember signing no contract. <laughs> oh yeah, word. No, 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 Lamar High School. Lamar High School. Look, 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 hold on. Lamar High School. Look, <laughs> are you even old I, enough to if, get a college? I see you worried. We can't, we can't. Our parents got to sign. That's not legally good. Lamar High School, if my picture is being used in any way, shape, or form, you'll be hearing from my lawyers, aka my mom. Mm. Hey, I can't lie. I got to dip in like 
Five like minutes. 10 minutes, I can't lie. All right, a bit. Right, we can kill, kill two questions in 10 minutes. All right, a little bit. So, I've done 10 minutes, you know. Oh, uh, you're right. <laughs> um, so, would you rather have all your messages exposed or all your photos exposed? Messages. Photos. I had this conversation Ooh. before. Wait, what? Messages. 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 Why? Messages. You would rather I got have some your messages exposed than your photos? I would rather have my messages exposed than my photos exposed. 100%. It could be anything across all photos. 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 All photos. Only yeah, bro. Photos. <laughs> Only pictures. What your videos look like? <laughs> <laughs> right, what this nigga be recording, bro? He said, pictures? Oh, we struggle with pictures. <laughs> uh, I mean, messages, I feel like the only, like, like ever or like currently? Ever, my nigga. Oh, ever? <laughs> Yeah, okay. messages. I feel like the only thing, the only funny messages I have, I posted on my Finsta. Yeah, so it's like, any messages. Any messages. Only, oh, but I mean, I mean, oh, like, I but like, the, the reason is that we oh, saying that, but <laughs> nah, messages for sure. Like every, like, every comment. Is it just oh, mine or is it like oh, also like messages? Like all the, all the paragraphs. Yeah, messages. I don't send messages. that many. Yeah, like, I feel the like. Text you might have sent to a girl on like, we use 15, all that. Oh, Word. Two, all them kick messages. Right, kick, Snapchat. Wait, Snapchat too? Yeah. Everything, bro. Skype, talking about email, talking about everything. Photos. Even kick. Wait, kick, Discord, wait, 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 the whole wait, 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 shit. Wait, 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 time out. So, wait, 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 so wait, is it, so if it, all right, so is every picture we ever taken to? Yes. Yes, bro. Photos. Every photo. Photos. Every photo through every photos. Photos. Just camera app photos. Photos. I used to be a weird little nigga, bro, sending some weird text, bro. Photos, bro. <laughs> be, so you said what? So you said I feel what? like I be I be posting my bad so photos. You said have your photos exposed. Oh, you said what? Have your photos exposed? No, Look, oh, yeah, if I, I post my photos, photos, the worst you gonna get is some weird ass meme I probably downloaded when I was like twelve. Yeah. So what's so it's photos? Photos, hundred percent, bro. Nigga, I probably have my really? messages exposed. Messages. messages. Every message I've ever sent. Every messages. every whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yo, like that just shows your morals. Let's See, think like, let's think about what we was typing in like the group chats back in the day, bro. Let's think about where we let's think about the group chats. Let's think about what we've really been saying, bro. We do Nigga the PlayStation messages. All that shit. Oh, the game is Yeah, hell no. Not the messages on the game, bro. Not the messages on the game, bro. Nigga, them oh, Xbox no. messages, no. them PS4 Xbox messages, bro. If, look, 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 look. If if my ma- my group chats ever got leaked, I'd have to be like like dead ass, bro, on a watch list. Like, <laughs> what is that? What I'm saying, bro. Like, just if this was a thing the government like actively had access to, like to like monitor, like if this was like you, like watching us, word, bro, it's like. Over. It's up. Word, word, word. So I you would said, not be allowed on an airplane. So you said, what's your answer? <laughs> you said messages, photos. I said photos. Sure. You what's your answer, Taylor? Uh, photos, bro. What you say? Nah, I'm saying messages. That's oh, crazy. Nah, I was a freaky nah. nigga in high school. <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, photos. I, I never had took. My photo. No, no, no. Yeah, I'd rather have my my photo. No. I'd rather have my photos exposed. Nah, I'd rather have my photos exposed. Nah. I was a freaky. I never took no yeah, crazy pictures, bro. Yeah, I was a freaky nigga all over the place. Hold on. I, I took right, a couple that's it, bro. Nah, I wasn't a freaky nigga. I, I wasn't a homeboy, like, but I'm like saying like... two beef pics. That's why I'm like... My I can't lie. Like, my whole life. I only took like two beef pics, I'd rather have my, my photo... Like, beef yeah, but it's not a lot, bro. Yeah, it's not a lot. Like... Like, where my beef might be out there, but it's whatever, bro. No cap, bro. No cap. You gonna see the beef, but... I feel like this answer is also... See, I hey, feel like this. You see the beef, then see what I was saying. Bro. I feel like I feel like this answer is also oh, different why? because, why like, not to put the woman car, but as a woman, like, you can get over better if you get a dick pic exposed. Sorry, like that just worked. If all like what's That's in if true. what's in my photos were exposed, I'd That's never hear that. You don't think so? Think Are we talking about men as a whole or just people? Think about, think about how, okay, hold on. Like we saw a man as a whole. Think about how Drake niggas be like, oh, he got a little like. No, but like think about, people, but word, but like think about like how like because like ASAP Rocky got yeah, leaked. ASAP Rocky got leaked, right? Pull, pull, pull. And think about like how that was for ASAP Rocky. That nigga just like it blew over. You know what I mean? Like wait, I who? Think ASAP Rocky, Rocky got his. Got yeah, his shit got leaked. Oh, I feel like Drake's more relevant. Drake is also a better example. I didn't. It was recent. It just it just blew. I don't know how the fuck that nigga. No, like the conversation of like Drake getting his shit leaked versus like like when women get their shit leaked. Exactly. It's completely different. Like it literally went to his shit getting exposed niggas being like that's not what i was expecting to see but like his shit wasn't crazy though and then woman being like nah that wasn't crazy and then men being like not like no diddy or whatever they were saying like that like that like and they were like no they were like that wasn't a cra-. yeah they didn't have it at that time but they were like at the time they were like that wasn't a crazy photo they were like men took the stance of if mine had to get leaked that wasn't a cra-. like that wasn't a crazy thing to get leaked and i was like okay respect it 
would rather get like I'd rather be that. Like they were like, it wasn't a bad pick to get Lee. Like that had to get Lee. That video wasn't crazy. I was like, okay, for a woman, bro, I would ne- like that would become my entire identity. No, respectfully, actually, yeah, it would. True, yeah. It would be oh, like I would be known as oh, who is that? Da da da. Kim K. Niggas still, she's literally become a billionaire, surpassed the nigga that literally. Well, maybe not Ray J. He, he, he not really, really, really proving your point because she became a millionaire off that she shit. No, but in the terms of, right, she's not known for her million. She's known for her sex tape. Yeah. Whereas, did y'all see, never like mind. nowadays she's known more for like skims and like. This did y'all see that shit? But also, but also, at, also and that and also comes. <laughs> Like yo, my man. So like, you seen it? And just the things that like how we're viewed, like with our body. I would I would I would rather defend the shit that I type than my photo. No ditty, bro. All right, yeah. Next question. All right, so last question we gonna wrap up is: Would you rather spend a whole year in jail or spend every weekend in jail for five years? Every weekend. Weekend. What the fuck? Every weekend in jail for five years. Like think about you work Monday through Friday. Weekend. I think I take the weekend. Every one year. Wait, what was the question? Would you rather take one year in jail, one year straight in jail? Oh, you a year. Or, 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 or I'm not gonna lie, I'm a pretty nigga. I cannot survive a year in jail. Bro, going to jail every weekend. They not gonna fuck you in jail, bro. They do not fuck you in jail. I go to jail. Like summer school. How many weeks are in a year? Fifty two. Like summer school. Five years. I think it's yeah, the I, look at uh, do the math real quick. It might be the same thing. It's more than three hundred sixty-five days. Word, but think about how much you'd appreciate your life when you're out of jail. Oh wait, hold on. That's hold on. during the week. Oh, That's what less, I say. It might be close. It's two sixty. It's less. Okay, so and it's also, but you got five years though. What? Okay, a year go by first fast first as fuck. No. Yes. If I do this every weekend, you're telling me every single okay. First of all, Friday, you work Monday through Friday. As a weekend, is it Friday, Saturday, say, Sunday? Like, holidays, is it Saturday, count? Sunday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday Sunday. Friday, Saturday, You're Saturday, telling me Saturday, Sunday. Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday. That's the weekend, right? No. Weekend, okay, Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Saturday, we'll do Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. All right. You're telling me two days. No matter what happens in those two days, I know I get out on Monday versus a no, d- a year. Like, no, your math is off. It's fifty-two so <laughs> times two yeah. times. Oh, yeah, come on. I'm not. I'm not dumb. On camera. Hold on. On. On camera, on camera, we preed at the same time. We preed at the same time. Word. My math is off. Word. No, wait. I was like, say, you the math nigga. If it's three days, then it's times five. None of us can do math. I'm taking a year. I'm taking that year big, my nigga. I'm taking that year big. I'm joining a gang. I'm staying down 10 toes. For a year? For Compared to one year go by fast as fuck. I'm just okay, wait, but mine's not jail, jail. Mine's woman prison. I'll do a year. Fuck okay. it. The real number you're going to get is going to be off because it's like... Yeah, I'll do I'm taking that year, bitch, right? You're right. No, I take it back. I'll do the year. I just realized yeah. my prison. Yeah. I'll fuck with <laughs> <it. I'm glad laughs> y'all so y'all you said a year. We got what you say, Kyle? I'm taking a year. You taking that bit year? What you say, Taylor? I feel like, bro, just to go in for a bit. That's five hundred twenty-five days. Technically, technically, in my mind, it's technically five hundred twenty-five days. Fact that it's five years. Realistically, it literally is like scary straight. I go for a weekend. I have a sleepover in jail. I go home. For but this ain't a one time. It's not a sleepover. Like this is crib. This is home. This bro. is like this is home. look. It's two days talking to niggas. Cause that's all you gotta do in prison. No, nah, bro. I'm taking that year big. I'm taking that year big. Five years. I'm going to like I'm going for a year in jail. Is crazy. You got a five day week at work, bro. You that's work. what I'm saying. You got no weekend. You going to prison? I'm not going to just don't let me go. Why you going to be a bomb? Yo. I'm trying to get the 24 hours. There's things that I can do in my weekend. I mean, my weekday. I I go out. I mean, bro, you finna be. Bro, Friday you finna be so pressed going to sleep, bro. It's have to wake up in the fucking prison. Friday, bro. you like you supposed to enjoy Friday. Friday. Next come next day, bro, you like you had a fuck. You had tomorrow. beef with fucking Rebecca, bro. And okay. the and, and that Rebecca word. Okay, so oh my, yeah, yeah, like oh my god, I gotta see Rebecca again, bro. What are you gonna do in your year to make it good that you can't do in your weekend to make it good too? What are you doing in that year? You ain't doing shit that's good because you in jail. <laughs> so you doing nothing that you doing nothing. Year. What can you what can you do that's good in jail? Push ups? <laughs> so Shit. I just do nothing that weekend. Look, exactly. you get, look, think oh. about it. You can get into a really tough ass like basketball tournament in jail. What? Nigga, it's still jail. Wait, are we talking we talking about jail or prison? I wasn't trying to make 
Huh? Jail we talking about jail or prison? Well, the question was jail. Okay. Oh, so it, regardless, it's still asked. About, okay, are you thinking? Okay, that's changes things because y'all think about prison. Jail is just a cell. You want to do jail? <laughs> you want to do just a cell for a whole? That changes things for a whole year versus just the weekend. You want to sit in a room? Right, you want to sit in a room every show. week? I would literally be living her life for a day. Bro, I'd every do it for a year, bro. Every that's weekend. The I'm, going I'm a grown ass man with detention, bro. I'm a grown. Oh, bro, guys, sorry, I can't go out this nah, weekend. I, I gotta I go had to, to prison. I gotta go to jail. Yeah. My fault, y'all. Yeah. Can't, can't be, you, you can't go on vacations. Wait, wait. Why can't you go on vacation? You gonna take a five day break? You gonna go to a country I for five days did. and come back? For five days, niggas. Bro. Every bro. time. You gotta bro. fly back. Come you gotta okay. fly back, and you know what you gonna do? Saturday. Jail, bro. You about to sit in a cell like this, bro? Like, okay, man, no, I was, no, 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 I was just in. Go by fast. Think about this year. Think about the jail. You got five. Do you years. know those movies when they do click, click, just sitting in the cell? Type, I could do that it. That type of jail, not the prison, the jail. You don't get food in jail because it's jail. You don't get outside in jail because it's fucking jail. <laughs> hey, you wanna do jail? I'm gonna come out, Jack. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be big as hell. Thank you. I'm gonna be the biggest you shit. You gotta make some choice. You, like when you say all you can nice. do is push ups, literally all you can do is push ups. Not to mention you can do a couple if lunges. You're in jail that whole year. Some dips. Whoever comes in and out of jail, at least I can. I count. think you're thinking about holding. I think Mariah the scientist was not. Mariah the scientist was in holding, bro. Let's look up jail. Because clearly y'all don't know. That's really gonna change your answer. Clearly I don't know what the jail, jail is. Every can I do that? Can I do my weekends in a federal prison? <laughs> a place no, right, of confinement. Can I do my weekends in a federal prison? I'm thinking about prison. I'm talking about. Up, they got they got tennis, right they got now. TV and a tennis court on federal jail. prison. <laughs> what is a jail? I'm jail looking up the images. Jail is boring as fuck. You don't get to do shit in jail. What is jail? Nah, look, I could fuck up. <laughs> look, t- a weekend in a federal prison, e- every weekend for every five weekend years. For five years in a federal prison. House? Look, bro, that's look. That's I'm gonna be with Jordan Bell for asking how he made so much bread, bro. That's really like it says. Prison is long term oh, incarceration, yeah, one plus in, year. You can't be in jail for. So it have to be prison. You got to be prison. So yeah. you still you do prison? I'd rather go to prison. I'd go to prison for so a year. I do prison for a year. I do prison for a year. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah prison for a year. Jail is crazy. Hey, hey, you taking you taking a year for your man's? Fuck no. What do he do? It depends. <laughs> do we do a crime together? What did he do? <laughs> if it's like a Roddy, if it's like Roddy and Bobby type real quick, shit. Real quick, I, th- I know my car gotta go, but what y'all think about like the snitching shit? Like, do y'all think the snitching? Bro, Takashi six nine, bro, snitched on the niggas that did him dirt, bro. So what do you? It's Word, he got too much flack for that, bro. If you snitching on like like Gunna allegedly dead, that's different. That's like hold on, mm-hmm. but t- six nine, bro. He, I feel like he niggas is on his dick for no reason. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. How you define? I agree. Coming after his family, bro. I agree with Kai, nigga. But like, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Like as a Takashi six nine hater, mm-hmm. when niggas was finally on his dick, I was I was really happy because I was like, bro, look, like I'm glad all of y'all stop pretending this nigga's tough. I really yeah, don't like. I don't. His music suck, bro. I like playing with Cardi because that nigga's tough, bro. You need to get off that nigga dick, bro. Those are two different niggas. Oh, it is right now. Go, oh, it go, is right now. Go, go. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, all right, shit. y'all. You got to wrap up. All right, y'all. We about to wrap up episode nine. This might be the last one for a while now, though. Damn. Oh, I'm not going to lie. One time he had Attack on Titan on there, bro. I feel like I wasn't barely speaking, bro, because I was just watching the fucking show. What? Like, uh, With me? When you had AOT, yeah, bro. What you mean? Bro, I was literally the whole podcast, I was talking like this. Looking at the screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, you did. <laughs> Nigga, at the end, I put the clip. We just watching shit. Yeah, at bro. that point, it was like, <laughs> like we bro. just might as well turn this shit Nigga, on. we was talking in the middle <laughs> in the middle of our talking, bro. I was like, yo, bro, this is the scene I was talking about. <laughs> like, nah, but I appreciate bro. each of my guests for coming through. We got of Brooklyn. Of course. Shout out BK. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Ooh. Tosh. What's your, what's your at, Brooklyn? 1xbrooklyn. Underscore on TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, Makai. Man. Go fuck with the Spotify Kai Trendy, bro. Or it's gonna be everything gonna be in the strip. Teo, what's your at, bro? Where it's it's yo soy Teo. Uh, y o s o y t a y o. There's a lot of Y's in there. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. <laughs> but like, look, bro. I mean, with the, cause you're gonna they gonna look up yo soy Teo and they gonna spell it wrong. Shit, hit me up at uh King Will K X N G W X L L underscore. <laughs> bro, what you mean, bro? <laughs> bro, 
Bro, it's King Will, bro. The it's X's, King. the eyes are X's, bro. Y'all just can't read, bro. Y'all just can't. We was Kangs. We was Kangs and shit. We was Kangs. All right, so I'm Flay Catalyst. You'll catch us, or me, I guess. Well, y'all be back. I mean, I'm sure I'll have y'all again. You know yeah, of course, man. Um, um, I have fun. This concludes episode nine of Bound. I and I'd like to apologize, 50 Cent. I've been thinking about that all day. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. Hey, and and you called Drake a bad bitch, bro. You did call Drake a bad bitch. That's gonna, remember, that's gonna be the first clip. Yeah, yeah but baby, look, 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 look. Drake, Drake probably gonna be giggling. He gonna kick his feet like he, he could be a bad bitch. <laughs> that's the last clip. I open that. That's the last clip. Makai, yeah. you gotta turn it up at this point. This nigga said it. Man.